Ladies and gentlemen, all I have to say is 41, 21, 1. Lewis, what the hell are you talking about? It is your boy, Lewis. Welcome back to the Lewis Basketball Network, man. I am back once again with another banger with yet another video. No, let's get right into it, man. Shout out to Dwayne Wade and Dirk Davitsky. 41-21 is basically 41, that seven-footer that played in Dallas, Dirk Davitsky. 21, the amount of seasons that he played for with the Dallas Mavericks. And one, how many seasons that he spent with one franchise, because he only played with one franchise his whole career. Shout out to Dirk Nowitzki, man. Just an incredible, incredible player. One of the all-time greats. Future first ballot Hall of Famer. Left an indelible mark on the game of basketball. Um, just an unbelievable player. Uh, what can you say, man? I mean, 12-time All-NBA player, 14-time All-Star, 2007 NBA MVP, 2011 NBA champion, and 2011 finals MVP. Um, you know, had the most unbelievable run, as I said, uh, arguably in NBA history, other than Hakeem Olajuwon. I would probably put those two guys as the single players, like with the teams that they had, that have probably had their single greatest run to an NBA championship in uh, NBA history. Um, so I would put Dirk with Hakeem in terms of greatest run to a title. Uh, the only difference is Hakeem's was more impressive because his team is the lowest seed ever to win a championship at six. But let's be real, man. It's just, yeah, you got to show love to Dirk Nowitzki. I mean, you know, Charles Barkley, Allen Iverson, uh, LeBron James, like a couple of players uh, paid their respects to Dirk Nowitzki and what he meant for, the, meant for them as a competitor, as a teammate. And, uh, you know, basically his uh, lasting legacy and impact he left on the game. Uh, just a guy who really dedicated to his craft. Um, he, he's one of a kind. Um, spent 20 years with a franchise. It's, you know, like I said, it's rare that people are this loyal to a franchise. You know, never made max money. Always took a pay cut for the good of the team. You know, sacrifice. He only got one ring, but at least he has a championship. I mean... Like I said, he's one of a handful of guys that have won a championship as a superstar player. Like, no other guy. I mean, there's other guys who would love to be in this position in terms of being be able to go to the finals and actually win one. So, shout out to Dirk Nowitzki. Uh, incredible night. Scored 30 points in his final game. Now, everyone say, oh, well, he took 21 shots. Doesn't matter. It's his last game, man. He's going out just to go out in a blaze of glory. Now, mm. awesome, man. Star of the night, man. One last dance, man. D. Wade, man. Third best shooting guard in NBA history. Shout out to you. Put on a show, 10 of 23, four of, nine, four of 10 from three-point range, 30 points. Was able to, you know, was able to still give us a glimpse of flash, you know, one more time. I still think he has le what's left in the tank. I think he's still got some in the tank. Uh, I know he's 37, but he's still showing that he still has game left. Um, but I know he's calling it quits. So I just think that it would kill the narrative and it would just kind of kill his farewell tour for him to do all this and then come back, you know. So I understand why he's leaving. Um, but hey, man, 2006 Finals MVP, eight All-NBA selections. Was it 13-time All-Star, 2006 Finals MVP. Could have been the Finals MVP in 2011 had they won the title, you know, that year against Dallas. Um, 200 steals, 100 blocks, only player in NBA history with 2,000 points, 500 rebounds, 500 assists, 100 steals, and 100 blocks in a season. The only player in NBA history to say that he can, that he accomplished that. And like I said before, third best shooting guard in NBA history behind Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. And then I would say next would be Jerry West and Allen Iverson as in that. So he, he falls in that in-between line if we're going from shooting guards one through five. Um, you know, he accomplished a lot in his career, man. A leader, competitor, champion, much respected and deserves the respect that he gets. Paul Pierce, they don't love you like that, man. You're not Kobe, you're not D. Wade. And I think, trust me, I think Dirk, I think now even with Dirk getting, a, getting his farewell, you're going to see that it's going to make Paul Pierce even more bitter because he's going to be like, well, I don't get that much love. I'm not going to get that much love. I said, look at how these guys are getting the love. You don't understand. Dirk is a European player that impacted the game. Dwayne Wade is a polarizing guy who impacted the game. Not saying that you impacted the game. You didn't impact the game, Paul, but you didn't impact it the way that those guys did. That's why they're going to get the respect that they deserve. And instead of you just shutting up and let players acknowledge you for what you did, 
you're trying to self-promote yourself because you're not getting that nod of approval. You're not getting that. You're giving yourself self-appraisal, self-appraise, and that's why it's not, you're gonna making yourself look more stupid on TV. That's why I revoked your NBA license. That's the reason I did it. But once again, shout out to D Wade and Dirk Nowitzki, man. Two incredible careers, man. Well respected. Those guys deserve it, uh, and I'm happy for both of them. You know that they got to go out on top. Maybe not with a championship, but like I said, they got to leave on their terms. And uh, you know, I'm just happy for the both of them. I'm happy for them. I'm happy that Heat fans got to watch D Wade in his last game. I'm happy that in his last home game, I'm happy that the Mavericks got to see Mavericks fans got to see Nowitzki and Dirk Nowitzki and Dwayne Wade fans got to see their favorite player one last time. So, um, you know, it's uh, it's incredible. You know, they deserve they deserve. Those guys worked hard, man, to, where, to get where they're at, man. Very dedicated to the to the game. Competitors just keep, went out there, nothing they, could, they just competed. That's what you appreciate, man. That those these guys are last of a dying breed, last of a dying breed, man. We don't, I don't know if we're ever gonna see guys like that again. Trust me. Um, but anyway, this is your boy Lewis, man, with another one. I just wanted to shed some light and pay respects to Dwayne Wade and Dirk Nowitzki, man, two all-time greats, man. As always, bless up, one love, peace. Thanks for watching.